Welcome to Analog Communication Playlist. I, Prof. Hidesh Dolakya, is going to explain you selection of local oscillator frequency in super heterodyne receiver. And I have told you, see, local oscillator frequency that should be higher than RF frequency which we receive at antenna of super heterodyne receiver. So why this local oscillator frequency should be greater than RF frequency and how to select that. So all those things that we are a little bit to discuss over here in this session. So see here we have already seen this super heterodyne receiver block diagram in my previous session. You can go through it where I have explained working of this parameters of this and what are the frequency component which is there with this block diagram. So all those things that we have already seen. Now here there is a question like why FLO should be greater than FRF, right? So we have already discussed to have fixed IF frequency over here. We need to have ganged tuning capacitor in between RF amplifier and local oscillator, right? So here we are using ganged tuning capacitor in between RF amplifier and local oscillator and that will keep FIF fixed. So that is what we have already discussed in previous session of super heterodyne receiver. So here we need to understand how cost of this gang detuning capacitor is there. So cost of gang detuning capacitor depends on the range of capacitor which is varying from C min to C max. Right. So if you increase this range C min to C max then cost of the gang tuning capacitor will increase. So gang tuning capacitor cost is based on the range. So if you have lower range of gang tuning capacitor in that case we can decrease cost of the circuit in super heterodyne receiver. Right. So that is what we need to understand. So how we can reduce cost of ganged tuning capacitor. Let us try to understand this by one practical example. So it will be more clear. See in case of TRF receiver signal range is in between 550 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz. So if you calculate ratio of C max to C min then ratio of C max to C min that is based on F max to F min square. So C is proportional to frequency square and based on that C max by C min that is equals to F max by F min whole square. And that is how range is there, right? So if we place values where here F max is 1650 and F min that is 550 kilohertz then C max by C min that you can say it will be 9 to 1, right? So here one can say C max to C min that is 9. So relatively we are identifying what will be the range, right? So here we are finding it is 9 with the ratio of C max to C min. Now let us consider super heterodyne receiver and it is having intermediate frequency that is fixed that is 455 kilohertz that already we have discussed. Now here we are considering one case where FLO is greater than FRF. So in this situation, if you calculate C max by C min, then that will be resultant F max by resultant F min. So what is resultant F max? In case of FLO greater than FRF, resultant F max that is F max plus FIF divided by F min plus FIF. Right, so that is how resultant F min is there and resultant F max is there in case of FLO is greater than FRF. If FLO is greater than FRF, in that case FLO will be FLO will be FRF plus FIF, right? And that's why this C max by C min that will be F max plus FIF divided by F min plus FIF whole square. Now if you place values where F max that is 1650 FIS is 455 kilohertz, F min that is 550 and FIF that is 455 kilohertz. So if we place that 
then you will be finding this range c max by c min that is 4.4 raised to 1. So this ratio of c max to c min that is 4.4. Now let us consider third case of super heterodyne receiver with intermediate frequency is fixed at 455 kilohertz but we will be considering FLO less than FRF. So when FLO is less than FRF at that time local oscillator frequency that will be FRF minus FIF right and as if local oscillator frequency is FI, FRF minus FIF in that case this C max by C mean that will be resultant F max by resultant F mean whole square. So resultant F max now that will be F max minus FIF and resultant F mean now that will changes to F mean minus FIF and now again if we place values where F max is 1650 and F mean that is 550 and FIF that is 455 kilohertz. So in that case you will be finding this ratio of C max by C mean that will be 158 raised to 1. So here by observing all three cases we can clearly say with super heterodyne receiver by keeping intermediate frequency constant at 455 kilohertz if we consider local oscillator frequency greater than radio frequency that C max to C mean is 4.4 which is lowest compared to TRF receiver as well as super heterodyne receiver with a category of FLO less than FRF. If you consider FLO less than FRF in that case C max to C mean ratio will be 158. So you will be finding like cost of the capac gang tuning capacitor over here, cost of the gang tuning capacitor over here with this category of super heterodyne receiver is very high and as that cost is very high we cannot select FLO less than FRF in super heterodyne receiver and here cost of the gang tuning capacitor that is way less than this category so we consider FLO greater than FRF in super heterodyne receiver right and in TRF receiver you will be finding that is 9 raised to 1 right so this is how I have compared gang tuning capacitor calculation with different categories so for above case we can clearly see super heterodyne receiver with the category FLO greater than FRF we have minimum range of gang tuning capacitor which reduces the cost so minimum cost is there with the category of FLO greater than FRF that's why we select FLO greater than FRF in super heterodyne receiver I hope that now it is very clear to all of you like see how we select frequency at local oscillator and I have already made to another sessions based on super heterodyne receiver separately in one session I have explained what is the working of super heterodyne receiver what are the frequency component how to calculate intermediate frequency so all those things that I have explained it in one session in one more session I have explained what are the basic parameters which is there with super heterodyne receiver and in that we have discussed small small issues which is there with super heterodyne receiver and over here I have discussed how we identify local oscillator frequency and how to reduce cost of the circuit by selecting gang tuning capacitor with minimum cost right and that is what we can have it by having FLO greater than FRF so this is all about super heterodyne receiver in next session you will be finding few examples which is there regarding super heterodyne receiver so this will give you clear idea like see how to utilize all those understanding which I am discussing over here I hope that you have understood this session Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. The reason is I'm waiting for your suggestions only. And based on your suggestions, I'm making videos and uh, I have, I'm getting ideas based on your suggestions only, right? So please give it over here. And based on that in future, you'll be finding many more courses. So please give your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching this video. One more request that I am placing here, please download my application engineering funda. Detail of application is given in description of all videos and you can download all materials regarding engineering courses which I am teaching here free of cost from there. So engineering funda even you can search it from play store where 
engineering funda is the name of that application and all materials are provided free of cost thank you